for Hot Wheels and this time we've got the 1956 Corvette from the Barbie movie and let's uh, start with the review uh, I would like to bring in another variation of this it's not exactly a variation it's just a card variation not a color or design variation this one is for uh, like has the branding of the Barbie movie full on and the Hot Wheels logo is quite small and this is an international uh, US card it says guaranteed for life and this one is from the Hot Wheels screen time series same card everything is same except the card art is different and this is an international card here you can see Barbie the movie but here the branding for Hot Wheels is more prominent as compared to this one so this uh, Mattel had a tie up for this the movie so that's why the branding is like this and as you can see here the number is there for the release number but not on this one this is a standalone card special card uh, these are few and far between so quite sought after by collectors also nowadays but it's quite easily available as of now so that was just for the comparison so let's start and start the review uh, and let's uncard it first here the Barbie's home is shown I believe from the movie the movie is yet to release so can't really say it's a coastal setting from the palm trees one can make out so that's about it we are more interested in the car over here let's zoom in to better admire the car okay it's a nice convertible this is the first time it has come out uh, uh, this 1956 Corvette by Hot Wheels they had earlier come out with the 1955 version but for the 56 they came out uh, with this casting in 2023 only this year so looking at the side it has got the classic scallop which, they, which is there in older Corvettes and it's highlighted by silver paint this is in white and here it's written Chevrolet not Corvette and E and V of the Chevrolet are highlighted in I think navy blue color there's a reason for that this Corvette is shown as an electric vehicle EV you can see here also On the front edge of the there's the Chevrolet logo with EV so continuing on it has got some details for the door handles nice aero disc wheels with chrome inside chrome lip and I like this cut design looks quite authentic and door markings for the door are nice and let's move on to the front okay there are headlight markings and uh, markings for the park lights or indicators and front grille is done up in if i can see it's a different shade of paint it's sort of bronze color in actual it's in chrome but here they have given a different shade of paint it's quite subtle it looks nice uh, here on the bumpers as well this uh, these are the bumpers this is the grill nicely done there's this uh, cross flag chevrolet logo also over here i was just looking at the camera sorry and here's the barbie number plate the tamper for it is quite sharp actually you can see quite clearly just looking at the base it's quite plain that which is fine 95 56 Corvette 
2022 is the copyright date but they released in 2023 only okay looking from the top okay nice the molding and the engraving for the bonnet is quite deep looks quite nice and to the design of the bonnet is also nicely done up no wiper markings which is fine but there's a marking for the rear view mirror which is nice moving on to the interior it's in white okay that's going with the theme if you look at the car barbie pink and white so that's going with the theme it could have been cream but they've gone with the movie theme which is nice the interior not much details but that's all right it's like this in the original car also um, there are two sets of seats with some ribbing which gives it some realistic effect you can see the base over here the black base which is fine a little bit of cost cutting but that's fine and if you move on to the back here there are no tampos or no markings for the lights which again as i said they do only tampos on three sides so on both the sides and on the front they've done so they couldn't have done it at the back which is fine but just to show how it really looks at the back i have a casting 1 is to 64 casting from kinsmart so here you can see how the chrome chromed out bumpers are these are vertical ones and then there are horizontal ones also quite a design statement at that time this uh, this is from uh, 1957 version as you can see this is 56 but there is some variation but not much so this i chose for the comparison and the tail lights are here actually these are the bumpers but the tail lights are here in this casting you can see over here also they have been cast into the rear fenders but since there are no markings it's not easy to make out this is the place for the number plate as well it's all right it's uh, they could maybe do uh, front detailing and rear detailing in another release in the future that would look great although this scallop design is quite legendary for the corvette but maybe they can try once let's look at uh, compare the front as well just to get an idea so this is how the chrome grill and the bumpers look and the headlight is also nicely done here so this is just to give you an idea how the realistic car looks and one more thing these cars had a hood that opened uh, they were front hinged so they have another casting this is also from kinsmart same company but this is a bigger casting just to show how the hood opened on the car and some engine details this is just a little bit of information i wanted to add on so an interesting detail over here this is the marking where the lid opens to insert the plug to charge this vehicle since this is an electric vehicle so let me know how you like this review and how you like the casting please like share and subscribe scaring drive diecast i'll be coming up with more new reviews of hot wheels cars and more interesting details and it should be fun cheers